right then everyone so what we're going to show you is how to use trello when it comes to your email marketing planning now you may be someone who can just write your emails no problem at all you don't really need to overthink it you find it super duper easy but you might be someone who actually needs a bit more of a strategy or you want to up level your email marketing so you want to make sure you've got a bit of a strategy behind it so what we're going to do is show you how one of the ways i do to plan my email marketing and make sure that i keep on track of everything because you know especially as you're growing your email list there's quite a bit of emails that are coming out of your system and you want to make sure that the emails that are coming are actually not going to be spamming people you've not got emails going out all the time like within the same time range and things like that so all i've done so far is i have just created a trello board called email marketing planning and that is it this is a blank board now the first thing that i want us to do is we're going to install a power up so we're going to click power ups at the top and then press add power ups and it's going to bring up a screen of all the trello power ups that we can add now the one that we want to do if we go to made by trello then you will see calendar power up right at the top and um, it's usually got a staff pick next to it and we're just going to press add happy days so now at the top you can see it says calendar power up and what that does is if we clicked on that it brings up a calendar which looks pretty useless at the moment to us but it's going to look a lot better um, in a moment so what we're going to do now is we're going to plan out our emails so i'm going to do this as i am planning my emails for one of my businesses okay so how i like to do it is i like to have the months along the top okay but it doesn't have to be the months it could just be the types of emails so it could be for instance, we could do the month, so we could have April. I'm going to start in May. We'll just start in May. So we've got May, June. I cannot get my capitals right today. Um, July, for instance. But it could be also that you do it as weekly or advice, shall we say. So advice emails, membership emails it didn't say membership emails sales you know it could be like that that you do it it doesn't really matter this is just because this isn't the main screen that we're going to be using the main screen we're really going to be using is a calendar power up okay um so next up then we can start plugging in our emails so i know we send a weekly advice email and we usually send it on a tuesday so the first one is going to go out on second of may and i'm just going to put advice because i don't know what it's about at the minute so the next one's going to be on 9th of May. And again, it's going to be advice. And what we want to do now is we want to add a label to this just to make it easier. So if I click on here and click on labels, I'm going to put the green one as weekly. And press save. So now this is called weekly. I'm also going to put a date on this. So it's actually going to be due on the 2nd. And now we have the email to go out at 8 o'clock. And press save. Happy days. And now I can do the same on here. So I can put the label weekly on it. And I'm going to give it a due date for the 9th at, oh, there we go, 9th at 8 o'clock. And then there's going to be one after. So I'm just going to copy this one. So the day after the 9th is the 16th. So I can put that on there. It didn't create it because I forgot to press enter. So we've got 60th May, create a card. Um, after the 16th, we are going to need 23rd and the 30th. So just going to copy that. 23rd of May. And then the 30th of May. So I'm just going to do one month on the purpose of this video. Um, copy that. And 30th of May, create a card. I just need to change the due dates of these. So if I just right click on here, edit dates, change that to the 16th and press save, right click, edit dates, change that to the 23rd and right click, edit dates and change that to 30th. Now what's happened now I've got these written out is if I got a calendar power up, we can see now, if I look into the May month, that all of these are now showing up. So now it just gives me a better overview of what's happening on what day and what's going out. Now, I also have a membership. So on a Sunday, an email will go out about the membership. So I can put 
So this is going to be the first one will be on the 7th of May. So it'll be 7th of May membership recap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it. So the first time you do this, this is why you have to do the labels. So I'm going to rename this and put um, just membership. So I know that this is a membership email and tick it. And then we're going to give it a date. So it's going to go out on the, da, 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 da. it's not the 7th of May. I don't know why I put that. It's actually, oh, it's going to be 7th. It is 7th of May. So 7th of May. And there we go. And again, I know this is going to go out weekly. So I can change the date of these now. So we've got 14th of May. We're going to have the 21st of May. I forgot to press save. I mean copy. So 7, not 17th, 21st of May, create card. And then let's have a look. 28th. So we just need the 28th next. So we're going to copy that again. And we're going to put 28th of May and press create card. So I'm just going to edit the dates quickly on these as well. So we've got the 14th. So this is just another way you can edit it. You can click into it and edit it that way instead of right clicking. I like to show the different ways of doing it. And then we're going to go on this one on the 28th. So now what we can see is we can see we have our weekly emails planned in and we have our membership emails planned in. Now your email marketing plan might just be as simple as you've got your weekly emails. But it also might be that you've actually got, you know, various other ones going in. Now, I know that on the 9th, oh, not the 9th, on the Mondays, we also have a podcast email. So I would also add my podcast emails into that. But I'm not going to do it on the purpose of this video, but you get where I'm going. So in one of my other businesses, we send a video out every Friday about our YouTube videos. So I've put that on here as well. And then what you can also do is you can use this to plan out your emails. So if you're thinking of ideas, we could put, right, so 2nd of May, I'm going to talk about Google My Business. And you can start maybe writing it out or think about things you're going to pop into there. So you use a tool such as ChatGPT to get ideas. You could get a framework together for your email and pop it in there. If you work with a VA, you could make it so that you write the email out here and your VA comes in and does all the scheduling for you so you don't have to actually put it into the email marketing system, for instance. And you can do things such as that. But also what I like to do is when I'm planning something. So I know that on the 9th is we are in doing, we're going to be doing our launch. So actually, I could be thinking, do you know what? Because of that, I actually don't want an email to go out then. Because this week, we're going to be launching. So instead, on the 9th, it's going to be a sales email. So it's going to be launch email one. And that we're going to go out. So it's probably not going to go out on the 9th. It's probably going to go out on the 10th. So I can put that in there. I can give it a label. So I could use a, this one and put sales. Pick that off. And then now that's going to show up on there as well. And the other good way of doing this is that when you've written the emails, you can just tick them off. So you can keep track of where you're at. So you might like write all your advice emails and then, you know, you've got to go off and enjoy the rest of your day. You might forget where you got up to, where you can come into here and you can see exactly where you're up to. All right, I've done all them ones. I definitely need to get this one scheduled in because that's going out next week, for instance. And that's how you can use it. I find it extremely useful, especially if you're collaborating with anyone so people know what they've got to do. Like, for instance, if we had staff members and we want to make sure each staff member knew what we we're doing, we could either add them on as a member if they've got their own login, but also we might use labels. So we might call this one, like, for instance, Laura. So we know anything with Laura's label, she knows that she has to do, for instance. And it's again, it's totally up to you how you do it. You can do it where you do it by month. You can do it where you do it by type of emails. Because the main view that matters is a calendar power up. And just to show you what happens, so let's just say, actually, say, actually, I want to send that out on the 9th. I can drag that over to the 9th, no problem at all, and I can see it. The only thing that doesn't change is obviously on here, it is still under the sales column. That's all it is. Still under the sales column, but the date's changed to the 9th for us. I don't have to go in and change it. It could be that I've decided, you know what, we're going to start sending these emails out on a Saturday. So I can drag all these to Saturday. 
the name doesn't change. So we all, that says 28th, not 27th, but the dates change on them all. So the dates have now changed to their new date. So that's pretty much how I would plan my email marketing out, especially if I've got some different moving parts, such as a weekly advice email, maybe something related to a product or anything like that. Then this is a good way to see it, get a general overview of what it looks like. Because then I can be like, you know what? This week we need to cancel all emails because something's happening. Or we've ended up with two emails going out on Monday because our podcast gets released, but also we're launching. So really, let's put the podcast out a day earlier instead. Or let's just not email about our podcast this week. Um, We'll just let it release without an email. You know, it's up to you on what you do on that. Hopefully that has helped you. Please let us know. And I'm looking forward to seeing your own email marketing planning.